Oh my god. It's just after three. It's time to wake up. It's gonna be a long day. Let's do it. So I'm starting things off with a nice uh, hot mug of cordyceps. Uh, so it's from Four Sigmatic. Uh, it's a functional mushroom and uh, hopefully it gets the, the blood flowing and uh, allows me to, to perform at my absolute best today. Um, so, gotta get dressed, uh, get all ready, uh, maybe have a small bite to eat, a couple peanut butter and jam sandwiches. Um, that's really all I'm going to have this morning, along with some uh, watermelon juice that I, I made up yesterday. Um, and perhaps coffee once we get down to the, the Titusville Middle School. Um, try and keep it light for this morning so that there's not a whole lot of heaviness in my, my stomach um, to start off the race. All right, so uh, we're just about to leave the Caboose Motel. Uh, we've got the weather report and it looks like it's, uh, they're uh, downgrading the, the rain that uh, they were calling for last night, so uh, so far it's dry. It's going to be a muggy day uh, for sure, but uh, less rain than than was in the forecast last night. So um, yeah, we better get rolling. So it just arrived at uh, Titusville Middle School. Um, <coughs> Things are humming here. Everybody's uh, doing their <coughs> last minute preparations. It's just after six. Um, I'm really early, but I'm out at the second aid station where I can get to and see Brian. And so I'm just gonna have a little rest. I've got my pillow on, got a vest keeping me safe. Um, they're busy setting up the aid station in here. Um, lots of lots of people. This race has a ton of volunteers. Um, so now we just wait and drink coffee. So I've had a good start to the race. I'm about 20k in, uh, almost two and a half hours. Um, almost uh, at the first aid station where I'm gonna see Christy. So uh, hope to just keep things up at this pace. I think I'm around 10th or so. Um, and yeah, just get the miles in. So it is 7.45. Um, just leaving. I saw Brian, he's doing well. He's I think in the top like 15 right now, which is great. Um, it's a little early to speculate on how he'll finish, but he's doing great so far. Um, I'm so out of breath. Being pregnant and doing this is not as easy as I expected. Um, just walking from like, I was just over by that pavilion and bringing all the stuff in the chairs uh, back to the car. I'm like, time for nap. Um, so now we'll go and I'll meet Ryan back where we started and that's gonna be kind of our thing for today just go back and forth and try and support them the best I can so yeah, let's go. okay so it's about nine o'clock um, I just laid down for about half an hour um, <laughs> I'm exhausted I am really feeling it this time around that we barely slept last night and got up super early um, so today's gonna be all about taking really good care of myself and resting when we can and 
not letting Brian know that I'm suffering. So we'll get him through his suffering and then I get to suffer later and complain about how tired and sore I am. <laughs> okay, let's, I'm gonna go back to the school and meet up with him. I get the start finish, um, waiting for Brian to come in on his first lap. I just wanted to show you guys the aid station because it's pretty incredible. They have um, a lot of volunteers who have clearly done this before. So as you can imagine, um, when you run for a long distance, you still need to feel your body, but you often need simple things that you can digest quickly and you can digest on the run. So that's why you see a lot of simple sugars. Um, the pickles are for salt because you need to replenish your salt. Um, lots of different um, hydration options too, which is really great. So now we just wait. All right, so we're about uh... A little over seven hours in, I think about almost 60k. Um, climbing one of the bigger hills in the, the first section. Feeling good so far. I uh, definitely feel the fatigue in my legs from the, uh, the climbing. The hills aren't too bad, but they add up especially after 60K, still with a little over 100 to go. Um, but I'm eating well, hydrating lots, starting to get pretty warm. Um, and I should be seeing Christy in about another hour and a half-ish uh, out at the far end. So continue on um, and I'll update a little bit later. So just coming up on the uh, first main aid station. Seems to have a bit of an astrological theme. Am I on this list here somewhere? Uh, Brian Group, yep. There we are. So they have all the, the runners listed by their star sign. Which is kind of interesting. So uh, definitely great aid stations uh, this race. Um, on my second loop, so I'm seeing them all for the second time. Okay, so I saw Brian on his second loop at the halfway point. So my next stop is to see him at the start finish again, where he'll go out for his final big loop. And I did what feels like the impossible in an American small town, and I found a salad to eat. I haven't eaten very well today, and I haven't eaten very much. Um, the things I have eaten are like, some potato chips and some um, bread with peanut butter and jam and um, I just was like I need to eat some real food before this baby freaks out so found a salad it took a lot of work but I found it so now I have to try and navigate my way back to um, the start finish where I'll meet up with Brian doing get so bad all right so Brian just left here um, it is about quarter after six and the sky just opened. It is now pouring rain. Um, so hopefully it is more off than on. They say scattered showers, but currently it is just a downpour and thunderstorm. So we're really hoping that this clears up for the runners, but you never know. So I've got about three to three and a half hours until he thinks that he's going to be at the next station. So I'm just gonna go take a rest. Try not to worry. Okay, so it's 9.50ish. Um, I'm exhausted. Am I allowed to say that? These guys and girls have been running all freaking day and I have been sitting and driving and helping and I'm beat. Um, so Brian said he'd be in between like 9 and 9.30. Um, which was a really ambitious and lofty goal. In addition, they had those downpours. Um, so I'm not too concerned at the moment. I'm just gonna wait it out till a few more people come in and see kind of where he's at because right now um, he's he's doing okay as far as where I expected to, to see him. Um, so we'll see. It's it's popping in here. How are you doing? Um, feeling like I ran 120 some k. Yeah. It's really muddy. Job. It's really muddy. Is it foggy? Yeah. 
really foggy, so it's hard to see. All right, good update. All right. So it's just after one o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning and um, I just slept for about an hour so I have to get up now and get back to the school. Once I'm back at the school, Brian will um, go out for one last out and back so he doesn't have to do the full loop but he does have to finish another 7.7 7 miles. Just gonna stay awake. So it's um, six o'clock in the morning, so I've been out here for almost 25 hours. 20, yeah, 24 plus one equals 25. Um, I'm exhausted. I am pretty miserable, but we're almost done. <laughs> I just can't wait to get back to the motel and just lie in bed. Um, Someone's going. I don't think it's Brian, but I should check. Yay, my love! It was you! You did it! An hour quicker than you told me. Alright. Post race video. Uh, just got out of the shower. <laughs> I don't know what's harder, that going home loop or getting in the shower. My feet are mangled. Uh, I don't think they've been this blistered since my first 100 at Halliburton eight years ago. It was very, very muddy out there uh, on the third loop. Um, I'm exhausted. What are you eating? Peanut butter and jelly. That sounds like a good idea. Although I don't know if I can stomach it. My body's just in rebellion now. I finished, what, 40 minutes ago? Yeah. Yeah, about 40 minutes ago. And so I got all my clothes off and assessed the chafing situation and uh, heat rash and whatnot for my shorts. It's, uh, I feel destroyed, but I'll snap back in a couple <laughs> days. Um, I hope because I got to work on Tuesday. So, um, I think I placed top 10. I don't know exactly what place I was in, but I managed uh, the top 10. I'm pretty sure, uh, just under 25 hours, which was a little bit off by my time goals of sub. 22 or or sub 24 um, and I think the rain was the the main factor in that really slowed everybody down there was how many did you say over a hundred people DNF'd oh I didn't say that I don't know oh uh, I think Brad's wife had mentioned that over a hundred people out of I think about 170 or so I'm not sure how many started uh, but there was 172 or three bibs uh, for the 100 mile. Um, didn't like DNF'd um, at the time that we left the race, which was about 25 hours in. So yeah, the I think the rain got the most of everybody. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, try and get some rest if that's possible, and uh, try and get moving tomorrow. So we're just packing up uh, here at the Caboose Motel in Titusville, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's been quite a, uh, an adventurous weekend. I'm really happy with the, the results of, of my race. Um, even though I didn't go under 24 hours or 22, I'm um, still really, uh, really proud that I was able to stick it through because I really wanted to quit um, before the last going home loop, which is the last about 12K or so. so um i think that's it for now um and stay tuned uh till our next adventure <laughs>